Okay, Kickboxer, Vengeance. This almost could have been a sequel, but instead it's kind of a reboot. <clears throat> so this one is Dave Batiste as Tom Poe. He looks ridiculously ripped in this film. I mean, you can tell that he shredded all sorts of weight to be in this. This also shows how awesome it is to have the UFC around. Because when it's like, I need some fighters in the film. Hey, GSP. Yeah. You want me to film? Sure. Yeah, King Velasquez. Yeah. You want me to film? Yeah. So you can just pick a couple of, you know, MMA guys and throw them into this fighting film. So what's your premise? Well, you've got a guy whose brother is an amazing kickboxer. Who has Gina Carano show up and is like, hey, you'll make some really good money? Now, if you've seen any of these films, you kind of know. He's like, yeah, I'll totally do it. And he gets killed. So now younger brother's like, I will avenge him. He goes to get training. Who trains him? Jean-Claude Van Damme. Through the random unorthodox, you're going to pedal a bike in the air, I'm going to drop you on the water, pedal the water, bring you back up. I'm occasionally going to just like beat you in the middle of the night to get you strong and tough to, to battle Tom Poe. And then get into the, the final fight sequence. I mean, this film is all heading towards this final fight. Whether it's, you know, your first round is this, second round, you know, that's when it's the, the hemp with the broken glass, third round is swords. But what adds more to this is they actually have the police trying to stop the underground fight because people are dying in it. And I watched it going, this is just the right amount. You know, you can't do just a fighting film. It's it's hard to do ninety minutes just that way. Did I did I miss them having the actual like tournament tournament instead of just being like, oh, you're gonna fight this one guy? I did. I actually I dug the tournament part. I really enjoyed the the weird angled ground that they fought in in the the original one. That's not in this. They pretty much fight in a giant cage. And it works well. I mean, you really couldn't have redone a shot for shot of the old version. It would have looked really corny and hokey. Especially the whole, like, blindfold fighting bit. But I liked the update to it. Ironically, if you tweak Dave Batista's character, and he's like, oh, he's the son, it's easily the sequel. So if you're a fan of fighting films, you've probably already seen it. If you want to see Dave Batista as a, a villain with very few lines of dialogue, but his physical presence is just straight up impactful. Watch this film. Definitely worth it.